Coming up on Signal by Sony, for all you techie fans out there, we've got the Vio Z laptop creator here to tear it apart. Plus, we're going to geek out on next summer's blockbuster, The Amazing Spider-Man. Signal by Sony starts right now. Thanks for watching. I'm Anthony. And I'm Samia. Now, earlier this summer, Sony announced the newest Vio Z laptop. So each time a new version is released, the engineers obviously step up their game. And on the heels of the laptop actually hitting doorsteps, we got our hands on a model to tear down to see what's different this time. But we didn't just tear it down ourselves. We thought it'd be really cool to see the actual creator of the new Vio Z crack it open himself. And he came all the way from Tokyo to do that for Signal fans. Check this out. Joining me now in the studio is Shinji Oguchi, one of the engineers who created the Vio Z, and Nobuyasu Nozawa, who heads up the Vio team in the U.S. Uh, Oguchi-san, I hear that this is your first visit to the U.S. Yes, it's the first time to come to the U.S. It's very exciting. Excellent. Glad to have you here. Uh, you took apart the Vio Z for us, and you did it super, super fast. Obviously, the design for something like that is very intricate, and people love to see how it works. You see tons of teardown videos of the Vio Z on the internet. How does it feel to, uh, to watch people make their own teardown videos? So actually, it is not recommended sure. that you break it apart <laughs> because it might cause the damages. Yeah. But I personally feel that I'm honored because a lot of people are, are you know, uh, stimulated to do that because they love Z series. Sure. Yeah. Excellent, yeah. Um, so we've taken it apart here. I mean, let's really take a look inside. We, we've taken two laptops apart today, uh, one of the previous generation Zs and the new generation Z, so we can really show you what's changed. Um, we've got the old one right here. I mean, the first thing you can see is the different layout. I mean, the parts are stacked in the older model, which is right here, and uh, then they're flat in the new model. And you can see the difference, um, especially when you look at the casings of the old and new. So uh, tell us about some of the engineering that went into making the new layout and why you went with flat instead of stacked. Mm. So first of all, you know, in order to realize a super thin form factor, mm -hmm. we decided to go for a single uh, mounting uh, design. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, we decided to go for a dual fan uh, design as well in order to make the whole uh, heat sink yeah. thinner. Cool. So, I mean, tell us about the, uh, the cooling vents and the fans and, and what's changed there mm -hmm. in terms of the body of the computer. Uh, the merit is it's thinner. Mm -hmm. So we managed to optimize the efficiency of their air intake mm -hmm. by having this inlet on the side of the keyboard, okay. like you saw, and also uh, through the keys of the keyboard. Yeah, you can see the little... Yeah, a little hose. Yeah. yeah. You have another inlet uh, at the bottom of the cabinet. By doing so, we managed to realize a very cool and uh, less noise. Fun architecture. Okay, so the old Vio Z used a hybrid graphics system. Does the new Vio Z use the same system? Uh, hybrid to do it. Uh, it's not hybrid graphics. Okay, so what is the uh, graphics solution on the new Vio Z? Sotoskeno Power Media Dock. This time it is okay. available as a dedicated graphics card on the external Power Media Dock. Okay, which you have uh, taken apart there. This is the this is the full one. This has the graphics card on it, but it looks like you've also got the optical drive on here. Can you tell us exactly uh, what, what kind of stuff do we have on the, on the media dock here? One of them is the uh, sloping optical drive. Okay. Yep. Mm. So there's a uh, dedicated graphics card just underneath this pipe. Okay. Yep. So these ports for the ex expandability. Okay. Yep. Uh, and how is this all connecting? It looks like you guys are using a, a custom connector there. Yeah. 
So this time we are using uh, our custom-made connection uh, technologies mm -hmm. uh, based on the Intel's architecture, okay. called named Lightpeak. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. So with this uh, single connection, you can power the optical drive from the system, and also on the other end, you can uh, this graphics card can drive. Uh, the system with extra horsepower as well. Very cool. And let's talk a little bit about the slot loading drive. Mm. I saw a teardown video of the old BioZ mm. uh, where it was using the tray loading drive, mm. and there were the person who made the video showed a, a little bit of concern mm. about using a tray system and the mm. exposure of the disc. Mm. Can you tell us what happened with the uh, the redesign? So in order to avoid uh, the possibility of having a you know, scratch mm -hmm. on the disc itself, okay. so we designed this uh, uh, entry shape mm -hmm. in a way that there is a little arc okay. so that you can have less contact between the disc and uh, the, the, oh, the... So there's actually like a slight curve here yeah, on the top. Curve. Yeah. Well, this thing looks awesome. I love this. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the new hinge design as well, because I know you guys completely redesigned the hinges. Can you tell us a little bit about that? One of the reasons is for the aesthetic reason. Mm. Another reason is that when you uh, open the LCD, mm -hmm. it actually lifts up the bottom cabinet. Okay. In doing so, you know, since you know the bottom cabinet is lift up, mm -hmm. lifted up, there will be a space where you can take in air. Oh, okay. In order to cool down the system. So it actually helps with, with vents and airflow as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. And at the same time, you can have a, you know, a little uh, tilted keyboard, right? So right. you can have a more comfortable <laughs> typing experience as well. Oh, awesome. Yeah. That's very cool. Okay, other things about the design. Does the, uh, does the new Z use a standard voltage CPU? Yeah, <laughs> Yes. Okay, cool. And uh, talking about the materials, is this made of the same materials as the old Z? Yes, this time i uh, this time, in order to further accelerate the lightness, mm -hmm. uh, we use the carbon fiber material, okay. both on the lead as well as the quarter. And you were telling me that this, that has something to do with uh, actual the toughness or the rigidity as mm -hmm. well. Can you talk a little bit about the mm -hmm. new design? Mm -hmm. So by having this side, you know, uh, standing up this way, mm -hmm. and uh, having this keyboard uh, palm rest uh, in, in case this way, mm -hmm. then you know we realize this uh, hexagonal shape. Okay. Yes. It leads to uh, higher durability. Okay. Yeah. So it's super light, and then it's extra durable this time around as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's talk about battery design. Yeah, again, in order to uh, realize a thin form factor, we used a polymer, lithium polymer battery. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that um, is that a fully internal battery, or is that uh, an external that mm. pops out, or how does that work? Mm. Uh, mm. So in order to uh, increase the rigidity mm -hmm. of the whole system, uh, we decided to uh, embed this battery by the screws. Okay, but it is it is actually uh, accessible through screws. Yes, it okay. is accessible. Cool. Okay, I think we've seen all the key parts of the laptop now, but I heard that you brought in something extra for signal fans. This time I brought a mock-up that initiated this whole project. So this is when you guys decide the form factor, you actually carved this. Correct. Uh, yes. It's like an injection mold. You, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like the world's coolest pencil box. <laughs> <laughs> This is really cool. Thank you so much, uh, Oguchi-san and Nobu, for coming in and show us the Vio Z. This My is pleasure. Awesome. Okay, so if you're looking to upgrade your laptop, the Vio Z series is available now for about two thousand bucks. You can get all the details at the Sony website. All right, moving on now to a movie everyone's waiting for: Sony Pictures' The Amazing Spider-Man. I am seriously looking forward to this one. How about you? I'm totally looking forward to it. More so, Andrew Garfield, but uh... <laughs> you, you've got kind of an Andrew Garfield crush. A little bit. A I've little got bit. kind of a nerd crush on him now too. After his speech at Comic Con, did you see this? I he, did. He did this whole. He he stood up in a Spider-Man costume. Nobody knew it was him, and he was talking about how much he loved Spider-Man and how much he changed his life. And then, boom. 
Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield. His really, really hot self. <laughs> But there are other cast members to get excited about too, mm -hmm. including Emma Stone, Martin Sheen, Campbell Scott, Sally Field, Dennis Leary. Yes, and Reese Efans as the Lizard, which I am super stoked about. Unfortunately, we'll have to wait till next summer to see it in theaters. It comes out July 3rd, 2012. But until then, if you haven't seen it yet, here's the trailer. You're gonna stay with your aunt and uncle for a little while. You'll be safe here. Where are you going? Something your mom and I have to do. I want to go with you. Yeah, you have to go. So, tell us a little bit about yourself, Mr. Parker. Not much to tell, really. Peter lives with his aunt and uncle. I forgot all about that thing. It was your dad's. What are you doing here? I have nothing. Do not get me in trouble. Don't touch anything. We all have secrets. The ones we keep. And the ones that are kept from us. All right, if that didn't satisfy your appetite for Spider-Man, we also have a few movie stills to show you. Now, you can see just how amazing his Spider-Man costume actually looks. Yeah, there was a lot of uh, uproar over the new costume, but in the comic book, his costume changes all the time. Yeah. He, he's gone through different kinds of armor and different suits and everything, so if you're a Spider-Man fan, you're probably used to that. He actually has uh, mechanical web shooters, which, which is, is a big deal. Which is super cool. Yeah, so it's actually like in the comic book where he makes them himself so they're not like built into him. And that whole scene where he's like using them in it's first person perspective in that trailer, so Insane. excited. Insane. So excited. Wouldn't it be cool if we had that ability to just shoot web? Eddie? Anyways, if you guys want to yes. keep up with all the amazing <laughs> Spider-Man news between now and next summer, be sure to like the official fan page on facebook.com slash the amazing Spider-Man. And while that about does it for us, remember if you want to stay on top of everything that Sony makes, just watch our videos at sony.com slash signal or youtube.com slash signal. Don't forget to leave us a question or a comment. Yeah, and uh, Android users, if you haven't done it already, be sure to download the free Signal by Sony app. For now, this is Anthony and Samia signing off. We'll see you next time. And we would only be able to shoot them at each other. If I had one ability. right now, I'd shoot it at you right now. It's <laughs> the meanest thing anyone's ever said to me. <laughs> it would be like, it wouldn't be like real, it wouldn't harm you.